Hi everybody, welcome back to Tunes Reviews. Today we're going to talk about three niche fragrances that I think are signature scent worthy for you all out there. So keep it tuned and we will chat about those three fragrances that you should wear more often. Yes, because I said so. So when looking for a signature scent, generally speaking, we're all looking to attract people. Not necessarily in a sexual way, but it's always comforting and enjoyable to know that your presence is welcomed because you smell good. <laughs> I always have been someone, since I was a little kid, wearing fragrances in elementary school, who's garnered compliments with cologne. I've always been, since then, known as the guy that smells good. I've helped so many friends and family members pick out their signature scents, buy a bottle of cologne for someone's dad, cousin, neighbor, whatever. And I really pride myself in that. So typically speaking, I think we are looking for your every everyday uh, Swiss Army knife, your fragrance that you wanna wear all year long, all seasons. Most people only buy maybe one to three bottles to have in their little collection. Um, we're talking like people that just want a couple fragrances in their arsenal. And I think that these three here are three wonderful selections that don't sacrifice performance or likability for their quality. Um, I think that these fragrances here are mass appealing. They work all year long for any occasion and they are very very well liked in my world and i think that they would be in yours as well so let's kick it off with number three number three is a fragrance that i've more recently uh been enjoying and i, I only just picked this up maybe a month month and a half ago and this is orto parisi's bergamask now there are some people online that say that this has a sweaty accord and i could see that a little bit but it does not show its head so much that it makes it so that it's not a wearable fragrance and this gets a lot of compliments because it is very straightforward this is a citrus heavy fragrance with musk now it's a clean white musk with like a little bit of sweat um, and on top of that you have a lot of bergamot maybe a little bit of lemon there's a little spice in there and overall it just makes for a very wonderful easy to enjoy likable fragrance that projects and lasts like a beast. So Bergamask, even though it's a citrus-based fragrance with some musk, it is a fragrance that does not joke around. The performance with this stuff is just insane and incredible. I'm saying 10 plus hours, gonna last on your clothes if you spray until they get washed, um, and you're gonna project like a beast so really i mean you get away with only wearing three sprays of this and you're gonna be projecting like it's nobody's business so that is why i so highly recommend this because if you're looking for a fragrance a fragrance or maybe one or two or three at most most people are gonna go for those cleaner more fresher scents and this is one of them that i think you should definitely check out coming in at number two is a slightly gourmand clean fragrance now this is really one of the most beautiful fragrances I've ever encountered, and I think my time with it is coming to a close because I've worn it for a little over uh, a decade. I want to say for maybe 11 or 12 years now, and I've made some really fond memories with it, but at this point, I'm just having a, a metamorphosis in my life where I'm trying to let go of things more, if that makes sense. I'm trying to let go of having to have something in my collection for the sake of nostalgia's purpose and really only focusing on the things that I really want to make new memories with rather than kind of fixating and ruminating on the old. Um, because life is beautiful and we should live in the present and not have to reflect on the past so, so much. So I'm trying to get out of that headspace as a side note. <laughs> but this has done me wonders over the years. This is Amouage Reflection Man. This is lavender, uh, rosemary, jasmine, and it's, it's predominantly a jasmine, vanilla uh, sort of co uh, concoction with a little bit of rosemary in there. Um, is really the main notes, I would say. And this is just a compliment bomb. People love this. It's a little clean. It's a little sweet. Um, there's some pottery nuances in it. 
and just overall it's just such a likable and easy to wear fragrance you can dress this up dress it down um, most people would say that this is a crowd pleaser and a half i think that this is one of the sexiest fragrances out there if you like things like jean paul gaultier's le mal i don't think that they're necessarily neck to neck with how they smell but if you want to upgrade from a fragrance like le mal or even like a Givenchy pie i think that you would really really enjoy reflection man by homage and i think that this is just such a a professional clean cut uh, man fragrance and i think that you would really enjoy it so coming in at number two is homage reflection it's done me wonders throughout the years again i've worn this for over a decade really should check it out and coming in at number one is a newer acquisition for me and i am just so smitten by this it is nothing groundbreaking okay however it does all the things that i've been loving lately to a t um i've been really loving my fougere aromatic type fragrances um and and you know reflection man is kind of along those lines you know a, a more modern barbershop fragrance without it being so barbershop -y. you know it's pretty aromatic um but this one is by parley moy de parfum and this is called wake up world and wake up world is just a gorgeous ambroxan apple fragrance with some uh some of those barbershop nuances some of those aromatic nuances and to me this is a very 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 beautiful sexy clean cut man um this is a contemporary barbershop scent a contemporary aromatic fougere uh and to me this is such a pivotal piece of perfumery because i when i smelled this i literally considered selling off my collection and saying you know what? i'm just gonna wear this that's how much i liked it now that's not to say that this, that's what's gonna happen but I will tell you, this is the 50ml bottle. I bought two 100ml backups of this because I absolutely adore this and I'm going to wear this so often it's not even funny. And this is uh, fiance approved for me. This is something that gets a lot of compliments from other people. And I think that it does all the things that you want it to do when it comes to a fragrance that you want to use on a regular basis. Dress it up, dress it down, night out, uh, day in the office don't have to go ham with the sprays you can do three or four and you're going to smell it you know eight to ten hours later and it's just beautiful it's a great contemporary piece of perfumery and it's very very crowd pleasing so that would be my number one choice for right now but these other two in the list are also wonderful choices so if you find that your taste aligns with mine then check out these three wonderful niche fragrances that are worthy of being a signature scent for you I hope you all enjoyed and I will talk to you all soon. Bye everybody.